Hello everybody and thank you for watching another video on qualitative and quantitative analysis of pharmaceutical excipient. Today I'm going to talk about Triton X100. Triton X100 is a non-ionic surfactant. It has a hydrophobic component which is tetramethylbutylphenyl group and it has a hydrophilic component which is polyethylene oxide chain. This excipient is a mixture of different molecules and the difference between these molecules are is the uh, polyethylene oxide chain length. In the case of Triton X100, the average length of the polyethylene oxide is 9 monomers. Triton X100 is a compendial excipient that is it has a USB NF monograph and it goes with the name of octoxenol 9 in FDA IID database the octoxenol 9 is mentioned three times along with another grade of octoxanol, which is octoxanol 40. These two excipients are used in approved products uh, such as ophthalmic solutions, drops, or topical uh, gel, lotion, and sponge. The allowable limit for these excipients are 0.05% for ophthalmic solution 0.12% weight per weight for topical gel and lotion and 5% for a sponge. For people who are doing uh, reverse engineering, they have to keep in mind these limits and uh, during the uh, amount determination, they cannot have numbers above these limits. For quantitative and qualitative analysis, I'm going to talk about HPLC with UV detector and ELST detector. The USB NF monograph for this excipient, there is a method for uh, amount determination. And in this method, a C18 column is used and the mobile phase is a mixture of water and methanol. This method is for raw material testing and it is not meant for determination of this excipient in finished product. However, this method can be used as a starting point and with some minor or even major changes, this method can be used for the amount determination of this excipient in the finished product that you are trying to reverse engineer. This is a chromatogram of octoxanol 9 or Triton X100 using different HPLC condition than USB uh, method. The detection is at 220 nanometer. Column is C18 but shorter column. Mobile phase is acetyl nitrile and phosphate buffer. Triton X900 is shown as almost 17 individual peaks that demonstrate that the material is actually a mixture of the different uh, molecules. With this technique, the amount of the Triton X900 can be determined and also because of the profile that it has, the grade can be also determined. The next method is the HPLC with ELC detector. In this chromatogram, the octoxanol 9 is shown as peak number 7, aligned with different molecules. Some of them are just ions, and some are surfactant or other component that could be present in a formulation. In this method, 
we can do the determination of our toxin aldehyde and also the grade determination. Uh, there are many references present in the websites and I only mentioned two of them. Thank you for watching this video and have a great time.